Gluten-free, low-fat, sugar-free, all these items are used by the food industry to trick you into thinking that you're eating healthy, but in reality, the majority of them are complete lies. All they are are marketing tools to fool you into buying their products and make you think that you're doing the right thing for your health. Eating highly processed foods has been linked to a wide variety of health problems, including obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, dementia, depression, cancer, the list goes on and on. Our convenient, quick, and on-the-go lifestyle has led food manufacturers to produce products that focus on being cheap, long-lasting, highly addictive, and taste-driven. All at the expense of doing what food is really meant to do, and that's give our bodies the fuel that it needs to function the way that they were intended to do. So to combat this, you need to learn some skills that will help you be able to make better diet choices for your family. The first thing you need to do is learn to read labels. Here are some common ways that manufacturers try to hide the garbage that they're putting in foods. By now, most have heard about the dangers of trans fatty acids. They play a big role in causing inflammation and plaques in the arteries, leading to heart disease and strokes. Very often, you'll see on the front of a package that has zero trans fats. This is a common ploy that food companies will use. See, in order for a manufacturer to be able to say that, they needed to have less than 0.5 milligrams per serving. Well, all they have to do is make the serving size smaller and the next thing you know, you've just eaten a few grams of these harmful trans fats. Now on the labels, they never list the ingredients as trans fats. So what you need to be looking out for are oils that are described as hydrogenated or partially hydrogenated foods. If the packaging has these on it, you need to avoid it. Another ingredient is high fructose corn syrup, an ingredient that contributes among other things to diabetes, inflammation, high triglycerides, and a fatty liver. The manufacturers have learned that they can't get away with listing high fructose corn syrup on the labels. So they mask it by calling it things like glucose syrup, maize syrup, isoglucose, dahlia syrup, fruit fructose, or crystalline fructose. But don't just go jumping on the sugar-free bandwagon because the majority of them contain ingredients like aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin. They may not have the calories associated with sugar, but they're still responsible for increasing the risk of diabetes, weight gain, and even some cancers. Now, let's look at meats. Common preservative that you'll find is sodium nitrite or nitrate. These are linked to the development of heart disease, diabetes, and more recently, a risk factor for developing colon cancer. Look on the packaging for terms like nitrate free if you're shopping for these items, but once again, don't be fooled because an alternative to adding chemical nitrates to food is adding celery powder, a very high source of nitrates which can have the same impact on your health. This is just a small list of the types of additives that you can find, so you need to get in the habit of looking at the food labels. So a good rule of thumb is to buy foods where there are less than five ingredients in the label. The more there are, the more there tends to be additives that you shouldn't be eating. And the second rule is that if you can't pronounce the ingredients on the label, you shouldn't be eating it. Spending our time knowing what is in your food is the most important step of keeping things out of your body. After that though, I want you to focus on not falling prey to false advertising. This is where the food manufacturers get to you. They're preying on your desire to be more healthy, but know the majority of us don't really understand what all these things mean. A couple nights ago, my wife and I had our usual date night walking around the local grocery store. Besides picking up a few things, we walked around looking up and down each aisle, looking for the ways that the food industry is trying to fool us. We had to laugh and actually sometimes got mad at what we saw. I'm not going to bore you with the complete two hour tour that we spent at the grocery store, but this is a small example of what we're dealing with from their deceptive advertising. Probably the most common one that I saw is when they try to entice you into buying their product by letting you know that they have included a healthy ingredient in it. In these store bought muffins, for example, we see if we buy this, not only do we get food that is made with real bananas, but as an added bonus, you won't get any artificial colors or flavors. All that sounds great until you actually look at the ingredients. You'll notice that the first ingredient is sugar. Of course, then you have your banana, followed by refined white flour, soybean oil, fructose, which if you remember is just another cook for high fructose corn syrup, and various other preservatives and things that you can't pronounce. There are seriously hundreds of examples of this. Some of my favorites still are made with real cheese, bragging about how much protein it has, or simply labeling it as something healthy. You know if it's gluten-free, then it's gotta be good. They love to throw out there that it's keto-friendly or fat-free. They love to help us think that just because it's made with real fruit or veggies or a great source of vitamins, that it should probably be part of our regular diet. And probably the biggest offenders are cereals where you can always get your fill of natural and artificial flavors, high fiber and multi-grain foods that sound great, but are full of sugar and other preservatives that kids love, but are not part of a healthy diet. So as you can see, the food industry works super hard to try and trick you into thinking that you're eating healthy, but luckily you don't need to work as hard to avoid it. One of the simplest things that you can do is change where you shop in the grocery store. I was given this advice many years ago and it's still good. If you wanna eat healthy, try to do the majority of your shopping on the outside edges of the grocery store. This is where you're gonna find your fresh produce, dairy, meats, and other things that are similar to that. Not that they can't still sneak in some processed foods in there, but they're much less likely to find them. 
On the outside of the store, it's easier to put the refrigerated items, where in the middle, most grocery stores have to put foods that need to have longer shelf life, therefore tending to be more processed and preserved. Not that you can't find good things in the middle, and you certainly can and should. It's just that in the middle of the store, you need to be more careful to look at the labels, and that's where they're gonna try and get you as well with their false advertising. But out of all the areas in the store, the most important ones to avoid are the middle of the wide aisles as well as end caps because this is where they're going to try and entice you with the foods that are most colorful and addictive because they're full of highly processed ingredients. One of the hardest areas we have to avoid processing foods is when we go to restaurants or eat out. There, you're more likely to get unhealthy trans fats, refined carbohydrates, and a host of other highly processed foods that wreak havoc on your body. So to combat this, as well as help your own pocketbook, the more you cook your own meals, the better off you're gonna be. By doing your own shopping and cooking, you can use the skills that you've just been learning so far to use more fresh ingredients that are gonna be much better for you. So now that you've got some great recipes that you figured out how to do at home, it's time to implement one of the most effective ways to not only avoid eating processed foods, but it's also a great way to save money, avoiding eating out, and could be a great way to help you lose weight. You need to start meal prepping. If you don't know, meal prepping is when you find a few recipes that you enjoy, and when you make it for dinner, you double or triple the recipe and then you freeze the rest in serving size containers. We've been doing this for years and it's completely changed the way I do lunch now. Since doing this, I've not been as tempted to eat out and I'm able to avoid a lot of the processed foods that are so bad for you. The food industry has filled our world with processed junk that is killing us. But luckily, now you know how to outsmart them. If we just learn to read labels, not fall for the false advertising, focus on buying foods from the outside edge of the grocery store, cooking meals at home and doing meal prep, you can make a gigantic strides in improving your diet and your overall health. Having a healthy diet is so important in your overall health, but there's a myth out there that eating healthy is too expensive. It doesn't have to be that way, and we're gonna prove it to you. So keep watching this video, where we're gonna show you 10 delicious foods that won't break your budget. A healthy lifestyle is attainable, and it is so worth the effort.